All right, Waterloo Middle School students, Mr. Duth back at it again with another VEX code VR activity for you to complete while you're stuck at home. Uh, this one's actually kind of cool. I had a lot of fun programming it, and I'm going to show you how I did it in just a minute. But if you look here, um, we're going to be using the Disk Color Maze Playground, and this is what the top view looks like. We've got all these different um, flags or disks, green ones, blue ones, and then a red one, which is the finish line, okay? Now I've programmed my bot to go this way. So it goes up to the green, to the blue, to this blue, over here, down, over, down, over, and down, okay? And there's plenty of other ways that you could do that. Um, and you can program this in a bunch of different ways, okay? So I'm also using the front eye sensor which is what it tells you to do for level one. But you could also program this uh, with the down eye sensor as well. Remember, our robot is equipped with sensors that point down at the ground, but also sensors that point out in front of it, kind of like the headlight on a car, okay? Um, and then level three, this one looks kind of tricky. Program the robot to solve the maze in reverse by starting at the red disc using both the down and the front eye sensor, okay? Um, here's a helpful hint. Use the forever block from the control category to keep the eye sensors constantly checking for certain colors. I did not use that. Here's what I did. And mine's long, but it says drive forward, wait until the front eye detects green. Cause I know that straight forward from where my robot is now, straight forward is that green one. Okay. And I have said when the front eye detects green, turn right and then continue driving forward and wait until it detects blue. And I just repeated that process for all of these different disks in the maze until I reach the red one. And then if you look at the bottom of my program, I say when it detects the red one, stop driving. So let's reset and run this and see how my robot goes. There he goes to the green one, turns right, blue, uh-oh, something, something didn't quite work out. Let's reset that and run it one more time. Let's see if that was just a fluke. Sometimes these robots don't always do what you want them to, and that's actually what happens in the real world too. So as you're programming these, you might run into some problems. Like there it is, my robot did not drive straight. So I'll have to go back and look into the code for that one to see why that is happening. But you can look through my program here and um, you can try this on your own to see if you can get your robot to get all the way over here using those color sensors. It's a lot of fun. And again, you can change um, from front eye to down eye. It really just depends on what you want to uh, be looking at. But here's the kind of the 3D version of the field. And also just so you know, as you're working in VexCode uh, VR, if you click on this, um, kind of this um, alternative view here, not the top-down view, but this other one. Um, and you use the right click feature on your mouse or a two-finger click if you're on a Chromebook. That will allow you to kind of orbit around the playground and you can kind of see in 3D what's going on. So super cool, lots of fun. Give this discolor maze uh, activity a try. Remember to try and get a screencast or a screenshot of some sort to show your teacher what you're doing and turn that in on Google Classroom. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and we'll talk to you soon.